Hello friends. In this video we will learn an interesting topic of science, nutrition in animals. Steps involved during nutrition, nutrition in ruminants and nutrition process in amoeba. The food we consume is used by our body for various activities. Nutrition in animals includes the intake of food from external sources and the utilization of nutrients present in the food for energy, growth and development. In animals, nutrition is carried out in five steps. Ingestion. In this process intake of takes place. Digestion. In this process in digested food is broken down into smaller compounds. Absorption. Here simpler substances are absorbed by blood. Assimilation. In this process utilization of absorbed nutrients takes place. Digestion. In this process undigested food is expelled from body. The process of intake of food is called ingestion. Various animals have different organs for ingestion of food. Human beings swallow food after chewing. Herbivores quickly swallow the grass and leaves. Amoeba, a unicellular organism, captures food with the help of pseudopodia which engulf the prey. Paramecium has small thread-like structures, called cilia, all over its body surface that help to capture the food. Insects like butterfly have a long tube-like structure called proboscis using which they suck the nectar of flowers. A frog captures its prey with help of a long, sticky tongue. An aquatic organism like Hydra has tentacles to catch its prey. In spiders, the mode of ingestion is sucking after injecting venom to the prey. Earthworms swallow their food using their muscular pharynx. The ingested food is first broken down into smaller and simpler compounds. This process is called digestion. After digestion, the simpler substances are then absorbed by the blood. This process is called absorption. The absorbed nutrients are then transported to different parts of the body. The process of utilizing absorbed nutrients for energy, growth and development by body is called assimilation. During the process of digestion, some part of the food may not get digested. This undigested food is expelled from the body along with some water in the form of feces through the process called digestion. The digestive system of human beings is a complex organ system consisting of many organs such as Mouth also called the buccal cavity Esophagus or food pipe Stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus There are certain glands that are associated with the digestive tract. These are salivary glands, pancreas, and liver. These glands also play an important role in the process of digestion. Digestion of food starts in the mouth with the help of saliva, tongue and teeth. Saliva is secreted by salivary glands. Saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase, which acts upon starch present in food and breaks it into simple sugars. It also acts as a lubricant that makes food slippery. Our tongue is muscular in nature so it can be rolled in any direction. It helps to turn and mix food with saliva. Also helps to push chewed food into esophagus. Large number of small bud like structures present on tongue called taste buds. Taste buds are sensory organs and detect different tastes. 
the adult human tongue contains between 2,000 and 8,000 taste buds. Human brains are able to detect five basic tastes. Sweet. Salty. Bitter. Umami. Sour. It was earlier believed that the tongue has specific regions for detecting specific regions for detecting specific tastes. However, this is not true. The entire tongue with the taste buds can sense all types of tastes more or less equally. Human beings have two sets of teeth in their lifetime, temporary set and permanent set of teeth. In a child, from the age of 6 months to 8 years, 20 milk teeth grow, which are the temporary set of teeth. These milk teeth are replaced by a permanent set of teeth after 6 years of age. These are 32 in number. Milk teeth start appearing after 6 months of child's birth. They are 20 in number. They are shed off and are replaced by permanent set of teeth. They do not contain molars. Permanent set start replacing milk teeth in the 6th year of age. They are 32 in number. Once shed, they cannot be replaced naturally. They contain 6 molars in each jaw. The visible part of the tooth present above the gums is called the crown. And the root, which is the part below the gum line. The outer part of F the teeth is called enamel and is the hardest substance found in our body. For tearing, cutting and chewing the food, there are four types of teeth present in our mouth. The four front teeth in both the upper and lower jaws are called incisors. Their primary function is to cut food. Canines There are four canines in the oral cavity. They are behind and adjacent to the lateral incisors. Their main function is to tear food. They have the longest root of any tooth. Premolars are located behind and adjacent to the canines and are designed to crush and grind food. There are eight premolars in the oral cavity. Molars are the most posterior teeth in the mouth are the molars. They have broader and flatter surfaces with four to five cusps and have the largest crown of any other teeth. They are designed to grind food. The care of teeth is very important because when we eat food, some particles remain stuck in between or on the teeth. These particles, if not removed, form dental plaque, which consists of thousands of bacteria. From the mouth, the food is pushed down into the next organ called the food pipe or esophagus. It acts as a passage to carry the food from the mouth to the stomach. No digestion of food takes place in the esophagus. The food is pushed down in a wave-like motion caused by the contraction and relaxation of the esophageal muscles. This wavy movement is called peristalsis, which is observed throughout the alimentary canal. The stomach is a J-shaped, thick-walled, bag-like structure. The stomach is the widest part of the alimentary canal. When we have taken the first bite of a meal, the brain sends impulses to the stomach. These impulses start the production of secretions in the stomach and the upper part of the stomach, which acts as a reservoir, expands. The food passes into the stomach through the cardia at the stomach entrance. This is a muscle that acts like a valve, closing the top of the stomach, the fundus, is where food and the air that we swallow with every bite is collected. This is where the stomach volume start to adapt. The fundus is an extremely adaptable structure. The more food goes into the stomach, the more it actively expands. In the middle part of the stomach, called the body, gastric juice is produced and mixed with the mass of the chewed food. The main component of the gastric juice is gastric acid. This eliminates bacteria in the food and also to prepare the food for the following stages of digestion. The muscular contractions of the stomach wall churn the food mass and mix it with gastric juice. Three contractions per minute move the food mass back and forth. After a certain time, the contents of the stomach are adequately broken down and mixed and are passed in small quantities into the small intestine. As the stomach empties, it gradually returns to its previous size. In small intestine, digestion of food gets completed. 
It is the longest part of the alimentary canal, approximately 6 meter in length and is arranged in coils. Small intestine is tubular in shape and has three main parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The semi-digested food received from the stomach gets digested in small intestine with the help of digestive juices secreted by liver and pancreas. Liver is a gland present on the right side of the upper abdomen. It is reddish-brown in color and secrets pile juice. Human liver is the largest gland in the body. Weighing 1.2 to 1.5 kilograms in adults. It lies in the right side of abdominal cavity just below the diaphragm. It is reddish brown in color and bilobe divided into a small left and a large right lobe by the falciform ligament. A muscular greenish color sac called the gallbladder is situated on the inferior surface of the right lobe it stores and concentrates pile juice. Pancreas is a gland located below the stomach. It secretes pancreatic juice and releases it into the small intestine. The enzyme present in pancreatic juice break down starch into simpler sugar and proteins into simpler compounds called the amino acids. The process of digestion is completed in the small intestine. After complete digestion, the soluble food gets absorbed in the small intestine through minute finger-like projections called villi. Singular form is villus. Villi are present on the inner lining of the small intestine. The villi are richly supplied with blood vessels or capillaries. These villi increase the surface area of the intestine for absorption of the digested food. The digested food particles are absorbed through the blood vessels present in villi. The absorbed nutrients are then carried to different parts of the body through the blood mean circulatory system for utilization, production of energy or even storage. The undigested and unabsorbed food is passed to the large intestine. It is a 1.5 meter long tube that absorbs water and necessary salts from undigested food. The remaining part of the food is pushed into the rectum. The solid waste is stored in the rectum in the form of feces and expelled from the body through anus by a process called defecation. The stomach in ruminants is divided into four chambers. The first three chambers, rumen which is largest chamber, reticulum and dome sumar acts as a part of the food pipe whereas the fourth chamber, aboma sum, is the true stomach. The digestion in these animals takes place in two steps. In the first step, they eat the food, half shoe, partially digested, and swallow it. This half shoed and partially digested food is called cud. In the second step, when they are relaxing, the food comes back into their mouth in small lumps for further chewing. This process is called chewing the cud or rumination and that is why these animals are called ruminants. When a ruminant swallows the half-chewed food, it enters the rumen where some bacteria and other microorganisms act on food to digest the cellulose present in it. The partially digested food is then pushed to the reticulum. From reticulum, it is sent back to the mouth as cud for further chewing. When the food is completely chewed, it directly reaches the omsum where water present in the food is partially absorbed. The food is then pushed to the abomasum, the true stomach. In this chambe, gastric juices are secreted and digestion is further carried on, as in human beings. Digestion is completed in the small intestine. The undigested food is passed on to the large intestine and eventually gested. Amoeba is a single-celled microscopic organism. It has no fixed shape. It has finger-like projections called pseudopodia, which are used to catch the food.
acido pour diffuse over the food particle by forming a food vacuole inside amoeba. That food vacuole complex substances are broken down into simple substances. Then these simple substances diffuses into cytoplasm, the remaining undigested material is moved to the surface of cell and thrown outside. Hope you understand everything about steps of nutrition, human digestive system, various organs involved in the process of digestion and nutrition in ruminants. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for such informative videos.